Today is going to be a little bit different. I just picked up a sit on top kayak and I'm going to use it to explore the river a little bit. Um, I might do a little fishing, but the real reason is just to test out the kayak and also to uh, maybe find a spot to uh, kayak in some of the camping gear and spend a few nights. So anyway, let's get this thing unloaded and get out on the water. she floats we're out here on the salt river right now the lower salt river and as you can see it's really calm so it's uh working out well it's really uh, stable i'm happy with that though i don't have a lot of gear in here though i don't think it will make any difference at all when i get a couple of dry bags in here with the rest of my camping with my camping gear so um Give you a little bit of a view of what we see around here. It's awesome. On the opposite side of the river, across the river over there, is actually a reservation. I can't remember which tribe it is. It is tribal land, and that big mountain in the background that looks red, well, it's called Red Mountain. Now we know why. But it's a beautiful area. There are some people out here. It is a weekday. I imagine a week end is going to get really, really popular and a lot of people out here. But uh, most of them aren't fishing, they're just out floating along the river. So I think we'll head down around that bend and maybe along those uh, reeds even try catching some fish. So let's head on down that way. Well I've noticed what appears to be a couple of spots that might not be too bad. We're not too far from the road I don't think but it doesn't look like uh, it looks like the brush is so darn thick back behind me where the spots are that um, you probably wouldn't have anybody down here so far things are working out well I've got the um, a GoPro mounted on the front of the kayak but uh, I'm not sure <laughs> I might have it loaded uh, aimed a little low so we might have a half an hour of looking at my stomach which well, we don't need to talk about it. I have been going upstream and I've noticed some current going back the other way. So going back the other way will probably be relatively easy. But I really haven't come all that far. So I think I'll go down a little bit further and uh, see if we can find any more campsites. Let's give it a try. Well, as I think you can see, it's pretty thick in here. Um, but there are some interesting looking places. Well, I think it's going to pretty much wrap it up for today. I came back and checked that uh, um, GoPro on the front of the camera. And I didn't get anything at all, so I missed out some of the footage I wanted to put in this video. I couldn't figure out why not. I was made sure that the camera was turned on before I got on the water, and sure enough, it was turned on. However, I didn't press the record button. So there's a lot to learn, but I wanted to get this out anyhow. Uh, real briefly, I, I, this is not a review of the kayak. It is a called a uh, Tamarack 100. I'll put all the information uh, in the description and down here at the bottom of the screen. I got it at Walmart. It was a little under $300. And there are dozens of reviews of this kayak on YouTube. And if you're interested in it, you ought to check it out. I found um, it's very stable. Uh, I'm not too stable sometimes, but the kayak was stable. So I felt comfortable with it. I'm not going to have any problem putting uh, a typical backpack load um, for kayak camping, and I will be doing that. Um, inside the hatches were bone dry, uh, so I didn't find any kind of leaking at all. I will use dry bags, of course, for anything on the top. Um, like I said, 
it's uh, for the price under $300 I think it's a pretty good deal so um, that's all for today next time I'm gonna load it up and when you see the kayak again we'll have the load on it and we'll be going out for a night or two so remember whatever you do keep hiking